professional response is any response whose status starts with one. The trying response we just made, for example, has status code 100. Another example, 183, is for early media, and 180 is for ringing. Here, we want to adhere strictly to the diagram. We won't consider anything that is not in the diagram. So, we will be selective here on the type of professional response we will handle. We will only deal with ringing. Well, in our specific case, we can assume that the ringing will be coming only from the callee. So, our if statement will be as simple as this one. In other situation, your code might need to check the, the originator of the response and act accordingly. In this specific case, what we mean by relaying the response to the caller is sending to the caller a response whose status code equals to that of the response we receive from the callee. In short, we need to create a SIP response object inside the caller dialog. For that, we need to get hold of the SIP session object of the caller dialog. This is where the linking with it comes handy. We simply look for the SIP session object in the application session. Once we get that SIP session object, we can fetch the original infat request that we previously stored as an attribute name infat request from caller. Later on that request, we invoke the method name create response. This method will create a response object with all the headers filled with the appropriate values. In this case, we only need to specify the status code. The value of the other headers will be constructed from the information retained in the SIP session object. Next, the do success response method. Success response is any response whose status code starts with 2. However, here, we are only interested in the OK response, whose status code is 200. So, we say that in the if statement. Additionally, the if statement only passed the OK response for the invite request that was sent to the callee. Well, we need to do that because an OK response can also come in for the buy request that we sent from our SIP servlet, and we're not going to deal with that one. To conclude the three-way handshake in the session establishment with the callee, our SIP servlet must send the acknowledge request to the callee upon receiving the OK response. The reason as to why the session establishment uses three-way handshake mechanism is well explained in the book titled Internet Multimedia Communication Using SIP, that's by Rogelio Martinez Perea, and it's in Chapter 7. As dictated by the call flow diagram, we have to send an OK response to the caller once the session with the callee is established. In order to be able to create that OK response, we need to get a hold of the invite request that we receive from the caller. Once again, the SIP session object comes handy in this situation. Remember, we already saved the invite request as an attribute name invite request from caller in the session object that corresponds to the caller dialog. In turn, first we need to get that SIP session object from the SIP application session where we have it stored as an attribute named color leg. Also, we copy the message body of the OK from the callee to the OK for the caller. So, it is full round now. The callee already knew where to send the voice data to, and now it's the caller's turn. Finally, the do by method. 
Let me just type it. It's very simple. Just a repetition of what we've done in the other methods. We simply relay the by. Now the last thing to do is to register this new subserv flat in the zip XML, just like the first one. There will be two zip flats running side by side now, and we need a way to tell some zip requests to go to the first zip flat and the other request to go to the second surf flat. We do it by means of filtering. In this example, we want the first zip flat to handle all the invites sent to the zip URI La Primera at the zip server while the second one handles all the invites to the zip URI la segunda at the zip server. That's it. Here's a list of some other keys that you can use to specify your filter. Once the war has been rebuilt, we can redeploy it to the BioLogic zip server. What we are going to do is updating the war that we deployed previously in the first subsequent example. Please watch how it is done.